the very first episode of this new series goes out to Yvonne. I wanted to occasionally do a third video for this channel. Let's call them quickfire. So if there's ever a subject, something quick or anything you want me to discuss, just drop me a mail, Facebook or Instagram message with the subject quickfire and I'll discuss it in these videos. That's if I want to. <laughs> so I sent this and thought, oh wow, these bond auctions are always so interesting. I have such a weak spot for the watches. So my eye went straight to the watch at first. That Omega from Spectre, beautiful. And the NATO strap is a nice little homage to Sean Connery. Fetching a nice price too. Then the golden gun. My eyes just go, oh gold. <laughs> but after all that excitement, my eyes settled on the posters. The cost of these posters is just astonishing. And they really are amazing. Obviously the From Russia With Love one is just classic. That Doctor No one too. Estimated six to nine thousand pounds before the fees. Obviously these are collector's pieces and there's esoteric reasons why these are fetching such a high price. Paper stock, the quality, versus how many are in circulation still. Sometimes one that's in French is rarer than one that's in English. And for some reason I call this the Spider-Man comic book thesis. The 1962 Spider-Man comic is one of the most expensive comic books ever. That amazing fantasy 1962 that Spider-Man first appeared in sold for $454,000. And then another one sold for 1.1 million. But by the standards of the day, they're basically worthless. 12 cents a piece. And comics were never printed on good paper. So what was worthless, thrown around, used as toilet paper, <laughs> yuck, became very valuable as all the copies in circulation got destroyed, but a few remained and Spider-Man appreciation grew. And this can be the same with film posters. You might notice that they're all folded because film posters were always sent in boxes packaged rather than rolled up. So they all have creases, the really, really old ones. If you're a collector, watch out for that. You know you're getting duped if you see an old film poster and for some reason it doesn't have the fold marks. The two Thunderball posters really caught my attention. If I had the means, I'd probably go for it. And Wow, like I don't think I've seen these posters specifically before. I haven't seen this specific image or this. It's more like an Aston commercial than a Bondo. So that's quick fire. And if you liked it, please comment below. Give it a thumbs up so I know to keep doing quick fires now. And also let me know what from this auction you would like. I've left a link below so you can browse through what's there. Check out the lots. And thanks again, Yvonne, for sending on this link and giving me inspiration for what I'm calling the third videos. <laughs> if you want me to discuss anything, don't hesitate. Drop me a mail, Facebook or Instagram under the subject Quickfire. And subscribe for a Bond video every week. James, now your enemy is my enemy. How did that happen? Well, you live long enough. You ready? You're late.